My name is Keith Brandt and I was elected to Durango City Council in April of 2013. I chose to run for City Council for two reasons. One, uh, it's giving back to the community you live in. It's a great community. We, I want to keep it that way and I think we all need to give back and, and that looks different for everybody. For me, it was running for City Council. Uh, the second part of it is uh, I have a financial background and I think every oversight board, whether it's a board of directors or city council of a profit or, no, or a non-profit, uh, every one of those oversight boards needs a, at least one person with financial literacy. Uh, my parents have married over 50 years. I grew up in Arizona, uh, went to Arizona State University with a, a de degree in accounting in 1991. I've got one brother. Uh, my brother has two kids like I do, the very same age. So it's great to get the kids together and, and they're all the same age and the grandparents love that of course too. I traveled a lot with my parents growing up and I've always had a travel bug in me. And I think I was about 13 and I went skiing for the first time and it was in Durango actually. It was the Durango Mountain Resort Purgatory at the time. Uh, and, and my brother and I learned to ski there and my parents were a bit older then so they, uh, they did one run and they're like that's enough of it for me. But it was, it's funny to move here now that I've been 20, 22 years later. Uh, and, and go, oh, this is a place I learned to ski. I realized through my, with my degree in accounting and internal auditing, I could get a job that allowed me to travel. So I worked for two years with Verizon, GT at the time, Verizon now. And I traveled 100% domestically in Canada. And I didn't have an apartment, I traveled, and it was great, I enjoyed it. And once I'd pretty much been all over the US, the next step for me was, well, let's go international. And I got a phone call one day from an oil and gas company that international operations about an internal auditor job with 75% international travel. And it was right up my alley. I said, I'll take it. And I wasn't married, no kids, so I had the freedom and ability to do that at that time. And so I traveled to probably 30 or 40 countries over the course of four or five years in that job, and then um, all continents. And it was great, I enjoyed it. It was great learning experience. I love the other cultures and the people and, and, and everything about it. So I've always had the travel bug, and I still have it. I'm happy here, but I still like to travel, and I like to travel with my family, not on business. And um, it also gives me a greater appreciation for Durango. I've been everywhere. I've been to every state in the Union. I've been to over 85 countries, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So I appreciate all that's given me a greater appreciation for how great Durango is. Durango's a great place to raise a family, and that was, given I have young kids when I moved here, uh, that was one of the biggest considerations is, hey, is this a safe place? Are there quality schools? Are there recreational activities? and all those sorts of things. And that was a big, that was a big, um, big part of my decision to move here was the family side of it, because that's obviously the most important thing to me. And we've been in Durango about five years, and we moved here from the northeast part of Scotland, which is very opposite as far as sunny, dry climate. It's very wet and cloudy there. So it's great to move here for a lot of reasons, and we enjoy the sunshine more than most, <laughs> given where we moved from. My wife Sabrina is a photographer. She's been doing it uh, four or five years now and she started a business here, Zab Photography, and she does weddings and she really enjoys that. Again, it's a great location to shoot weddings. People want to come here for weddings. My daughters are currently almost six and eight years old, Anaya and Rami. We've experienced the schools and they're great. My kids love them, they're doing well. Um, and they have a bunch of really good friends who have similar interests in the outdoors and skiing and all that and, and they, they enjoy it here too. Um, I like riding my bike around. Uh, I take the girls rafting once or twice a year. They enjoy that. I like to hike a lot and living here, uh, I got the, the power line trail and the, and the Raider Ridge behind my back door, so I hike out my back door, which is great. Um, I do that two or three times a week. Um, and just being outside, whether it's uh, a downtown Durango event, like Taste of Durango or the wine experience, uh, or, or some festival in the park, just to be outside see people you know, farmer's market, just being outside. I love it. I was a financial controller at La Plata Electric for four years, four and a half years, almost five. And during that time, I'd owned my own rental house that I've had since 2006. And I started managing that, and I enjoyed it. And revenue went up, and I found I enjoyed it. I was good at it. It was kind of my niche. And I, I found people then calling me to manage their properties. And without any effort, I'd grown to 10, 11 properties that I was managing for other people. And I enjoyed it, and it was a great source of additional income. And then I realized I could turn this into a business that I own and, and be self-employed, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. The name of my business is Durango Premier Vacation Rentals. So then I made an effort, a concerted effort, to grow the business for the first time, and it suddenly grew to 20 properties. And at that point, I realized I can't manage 
Applied Electric and this business and, and give the effort and energy required to both. So I resigned from LPEA out of fairness to them once I realized, hey, I'm getting to the point where I can't do both of these things. I currently manage 35 properties, most of which are located by Durango Mountain Resort. I was on the Durango Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors for four years, uh, 2009 to 2012, one, a year, one year as president. Um, and then I'm currently serving on the Dado Board, the Durango Area Tourism Office Board. I'm the treasurer, and um, I've enjoyed both those experiences immensely. Uh, with my financial background, I've been able to to provide valuable input and guidance and insight and really feel like I've added value. Um, and that's another reason why I ran for city council is, hey, I've got a lot of knowledge I can share and experience and business experience. My platform was infrastructure, getting back to the core business of the city, which is infrastructure, the roads, the sewage and all that, the core infrastructure, which is vitally important and the main mission of the city. The city of Durango is in great shape um, financially and um, I've met with all the department heads recently and I've learned a lot about the city and, and I've, I came away impressed with uh, their desire to do a good job. They care. They want to make the city better. Um, they're all engaged and, and, it, and it also gave me a real good perspective on the breadth of what the city does. It's not just paving the roads, it's the Parks and Rec. The Parks and Rec's department is great and Kathy does a great job and it's nice with the tax we have funding for it. It's the water you drink. It's the, it's the trash, um, and it's all this other stuff behind the scenes that nobody sees. And, and they do a really nice job of keeping that up, and it's one of the reasons this place is great, is the city does their job. One of the challenges facing the city is, is to get back to the infrastructure, make sure we take care of that. We've been sidetracked by other issues that, while important and meaningful, aren't, aren't the core business of the city, if you will, specifically making sure our roads are in good shape. Uh, our sewage treatment plant and our pipes and all that is working properly. Same with the water side of it. Just your basic infrastructure and we need to continue to focus on that. If we don't have the basic infrastructure, people aren't going to want to live here or come here. And, and that's, that's hugely critical. And then once we get arms around that stuff, then let's talk about some of the other issues that aren't as critical as core, core issues for the city. We certainly, when our tourist, tourist season really hits full gear in mid-June to mid-August, um, there, there is more traffic there's less parking spaces available, but that's inherently what you get with a seasonal tourist business. It's not realistic to think that we're going to create all this extra infrastructure because two months of the year it's busy. It is what it is. And again, if we don't have the traffic, if we don't have the parking problem, we have a problem. <laughs> you know, as being city councilor, I have my own opinions, but at the same time I represent the community. And I want to hear from the community. I want to hear what they have to say. Um, if they have problems, concerns, let's bring them up. And, and let's, if they're legitimate concerns that we need to address, let's address them. And I think everybody should, should take an active approach to government in a sense of, of go to city council meetings. If you have a problem with something, go to city council meeting. You have five minutes to talk. And do that. Don't just complain about it to your neighbor. If it's, a, if it's an issue that you feel strongly about, go to city council. And, and, and tell us, or, or see us in the street and tell us. And, and we're happy to provide that information up the chain of command where it goes, and, and, and is there a problem? Let's solve it. If there really is, let's take care of it. My name is Keith Brandt, and I was elected to city council in April of 2013. And I look forward to serving on city council during my term and uh, doing what I can to keep Durango great.